Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> this is where people throw stuff at you. Okay. Just, just don't be alarmed. We, we, we've got you covered. This is a neat one. That's the coolest one. Huh. Yeah, they've opened up pretty, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. Huh. I sense bullshit. <laughs> 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 Bullshit. <laughs> oh, that's sparkly. <laughs> huh. That's like a like a leotard it's on the. Uh, yes. Yeah. Interesting. It's it's like um it's like a superhero outfit. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so that's the what can you ask? It's easier to ask what you could. Well, I can say uh, Colton Haynes still looks like a model. Because <laughs> there he is. <laughs> That's about it. Okay. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Um, you'll find uh, you'll find uh, Oliver Queen in a completely different light than we've ever seen him. I know. Going into every new season, you always hear things like that. But um, season seven, in particular. You'll find him in a in a completely different place in his life than he's ever been. Um, when he was back on Lian Yu, you know, in the flashbacks, um, um, he was very vulnerable when he started out, and progressively he became what we know as the Green Arrow. Um, now, I would say that we can look at season seven as a new start, if you will, a new progression in uh, his character, within his character, um, and what you get to see what, um, hopefully we're painting the picture uh, properly, but you get to see what prison, uh, prison life would actually, how it would affect a human being, even someone as strong, um, both mentally and physically, as, uh, as the Green Arrow is, um, we'll get to see how prison life affects even the strongest of people and how it can break you down and how it can... Um, I know it sounds all very dark, because it is. <laughs> um, and uh, our goal is to try and portray um, at, w within our, you know, within our established, uh, established uh, mythology, um, try to portray our, our, uh, the prison as realistic as humanly possible, you know, as you can, while keeping, you know, as I said, our established, uh, established mythology intact. Um, but we're trying very hard to be as technically correct with uh, different aspects of the policies and procedures that you would find within a prison. Um, so I was uh, myself a uh, corrections officer uh, at, and while I was very young, um, you know, a couple of years ago, a um, long time ago. Um, and uh, so we're trying to, um, you know, research and and keep it. Yeah, obviously we're taking liberties because it's a television show. Um, but uh, I love Rick Gonzalez's shirt. Um, but um, every time I see him walk by, I'm like, oh. Um, but uh, you'll find that it's. It's a it's it's about as close to to real as you can get. Bar I mean it's not Oz, but um, <laughs> that's good. Enough. But uh, yeah, well because we you know we're not HBO, so we can't go there. Um, we would if we sure, were. Stephen's very happy about that. <laughs> yeah, no, he's uh, he's he, he you, like I said, you'll find him a, a different person and how he sort of handles himself within the confines of, of, of the structure of the prison and you'll see some new character development as a result of that and uh, and then the same thing for the other characters outside of that how they're dealing with their lives while uh, you know their team captain is is incarcerated and uh, what happens after he tells the world I'm the green arrow you know it doesn't only affect him uh, in a certain way, but it affects everyone else. Um, all the other vigilantes effectively have been outed as well. So how the hell do you go on with the rest of your life? Um, not to mention, where's Ricardo Diaz? We did throw him off the roof. I actually, I personally threw him off the roof in, in my finale last year. But uh, 
we saw him land in the water and um, we also saw that he's still alive in the montage at the end so there's a lot of ifs <laughs> and the season could go anywhere and it's going to thanks you guys right, thank you very much thanks